afternoon so just want to say um, numbers are going up the subscribers family members are coming in uh, so if you just joined us uh, thanks for joining and thanks for subscribing and um, make sure you hit that like button um, and share button and then I'll get loads and loads and loads hopefully um because it's on one of my books on a it's a thing on my bucket list isn't it to get some thousand subscribers before I die yes it is high five miles yeah high five right so this is um another prison video miles wants stroking as you can see is a bit demanding so we'll see what we can actually get done um i always find that people have always got loads of questions you know like 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 on any subject isn't it um you know if you've not sort of been and done something you know if you can't drive you've got loads of questions about that you know if you anything my old can't see me and you're hogging the limelight uh, so and the prisons obviously you know it's gonna it's part of, you know it's part of your life isn't it it's gonna be you know kind of you know you're gonna be a bit scared you don't know what to what to expect so of course you've got loads of questions and uh, some things you know are trivial to me i think why are you asking that but they are not to the person who's asking them so they're very serious um, to each and every one. You know, they genuinely want to know or they wouldn't have asked the question. So what I've done for this set, for part of this upload, is I've combined them all. Some of the, the, the main, you know, the, the more popular ones I get sort of asked. Um, so we'll just kick off with that. Now, I always get asked, is jail, is prison easy or hard? Um, answer to that is, I think it's as easy or as hard as you personally make it. So, if you're sort of going to go in there and make out your, you know, related to the Cray twins when really you're not, um, the truth's going to come out at some point. You know, you can't escape these people uh, unless you want to sort of walk around with, you know, eyes in the back of your head the rest of your sentence. Just go in, be yourself. It'll be so much easier that way. Don't do all the playground shit. Um, I mean, we spoke about Nicola, um, and, and on the next video we're going to coincide Nicola a bit, um, just to sort of see what day, what's, you know, typical day. Uh, I've got some news on Nicola later before I forget as well, but I'll tell you at the end. So, it's as easy as hard as you want to make it. Um, I mean, if you, you get in that mindset, whether you've been able to get in that mindset before you go because you'd known you'll go in or whether you sort of got to get into that mindset once you're there um you've got to adapt very quickly um you know it's, it's something that you can't change you no amount of crying being upset you know is going to change the fact so just go in be yourself remember that you're all in the same boat you're all in the same boat you're all sort of missing your families, probably missing your kids if you've got them, you know, partners. A lot of people are in there for the partners, um, you know, and they're just people. They're just people. And, you know, it's like anything else. You keep yourself to yourself. You'll have a quiet, you know, kind of lay back sort of time. I mean, if you want to sort of get yourself in, in the, you know, in the action and sort of shit there and talking about and tittle tattling. Then you'll have a, uh, you know, a mad experience, let's just say that. So, and the next question. How often can you shower? Um, and do you have showers in your um, room? I get asked that. Let's get on with the showers. Um, and that's about it. So, you don't have showers in your room where I was. Whether you have them in different prisons with en suite, I don't know. In New Hall, on the wing that I was on, you didn't, they, you, you know, they was they were sort of on the wing. You can go in every day if you want, um, but obviously, because they're not in your cell, uh, you, you sort of you have a shower when you're let out for association. So most people tend to do it at night. So on the final, you know, the final association, so to speak, before they, before they go to bed. Um, and if you remember from the first video, 
I said that you get like a little net wash bag um, and you can people just you put a, a shoelace to it and use it as like a little bag really um, and sort of put your towel in there yeah you know your um, shampoo conditioner body wash wh whatever you know whatever you're using if you're using the free stuff or you bought it whichever uh, you change your clothes your underwear you know um, so you've got something clean to put on and and take it in there and the showers are kind of like much resemble um swimming baths uh and school you know school school um gym sort of you know there's, there's like an open plan sort of place where you can see everything um and then there's also like little um cubicles as well uh there's all there's all the horror stories and i suppose the horror stories wouldn't have been aren't made up at some point something like that's happened i i i that's what i believe um did i witness anything like that no it didn't did anything happen like that to me no it didn't um again if you just keep yourself to yourself and be honestly who you are there's no reason why any anything untoward really should happen to you whether that be in the shower or whether that be anywhere else in the prison um next one So what time do you sort of go to bed? Um, you sort of locked your, your final sort of association. I, I think they put you back in behind your cell about seven o'clock. I think because I can remember sort of the soaps being on. Um, but as for going to sleep, that is entirely up to you. Uh, if you want to sort of stay up all night, uh, watching the TV, clear it with your cellmate if you've got one. Um, but as long as you get up the next day. For your medicine for work, then shouldn't there isn't a problem. Next question. I do need spec savers. <laughs> do you get a TV in your room? Excuse me. Yes, you get a TV in your room. And you will keep that TV um unless you go down to basic. Uh, and that's you'll go down to basic for you know not behaving really, not following the rules. Um, that sort of thing, and you will get to coffee. You. you do pay a TV license if you're um, got a cellmate. I think it's about fifty p a day, uh, fifty p a week, um, and it's just free your TV, basically. And that's all there is to say about that one. Uh, what else do I get? us quite a lot of. Uh, how many meals a day do you get? Well, you get three square meals a day. Um, and I also get asked the question, are the meals free? So we'll coincide this question. So yes, the meals are free. You get three meals a day. Um, the first um, the first meal of the day to kick off is cereal. Um, obviously with milk. Um, your dinner at dinner time is where you would have your hot meal. Um, so I mean, it, on the hour, I don't know how you guys sort of do it, but I have like breakfast, dinner and tea. And my tea would be where I have a cooked dinner or I have, as you've seen, or I have chips and something. Or, you know, and then at dinner time, around 12 to 1, you know, you sort of have a sandwich, bag of crisps, that sort of thing. Works opposite way around uh, in New Orleans. You do have um, your, your, main, your main meal is at dinner time. Um, so, and you pick, the, you know, you not sort of get what you're given. Um, you, you get a menu. At the uh, start of the week, um, on a certain day, I, I, I honestly I forgot which day it is, but it'll be the start of the week, I would imagine. Um, and you pick what you want. You pick what main meal you want out of the options. Uh, same with the pudding. Uh, on a Friday, it's fish day. You know, if you don't want fish, there's other options. Um, and on a Saturday, is a uh, cooked breakfast. So you'll get a vegetarian one for those who, who are vegetarian. And you'll get a yeah, a meat one, obviously, for those who who we meet. And they are free. Now, the next question. Christmas, Christmas dinner. Yes, you get a Christmas dinner. Um, the whole sort of the breakfast is different as well. So although you do get the cereal, because uh, you get that in, in the uh, the night before, if you remember me telling you, in your tea pack. Um. You do get a Kellogg's miniature um, 
Let me just get my out of the way. You get a, a miniature box of Kellogg's Corn Flakes or Kellogg's, you know, variety, whichever. Because all through the other days, they're just, they're no brand. They're nice, you know, they're equally, you know, they're nice. Uh, but on but Christmas Eve, in your pack, you will get a Kellogg's version. Then when you get up in the morning for your meds, obviously you're not going to work. Uh, but they do give you a little breakfast. It's only uh, croissant and jam. Uh, warm croissant with jam. Uh, then your Christmas dinner is, is, is your normal, you know, you meet your veg and, and stuff. Um, you know, you're not getting a Christmas crack around everywhere, but you know, they, they, they do trim up. Um, you know, you make the most of it, don't you? Um, I, I was locked up in, um, for, for a, when I was in prison, I was there for Christmas. It didn't bother me. Um, I can see why it would bother some people, because obviously, you know, but nine times out of ten, the, the people who are in prison... I'm estranged from the families anyway, you know, and they're probably uh, less lonely um, in prison, having Christmas in prison. I mean, I know, I know, you know, it's not unheard of for, for people to get locked up purposely um, at Christmas because they've got more on the inside, you know, they're less lonely and it's, 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 it's quite moving that, isn't it, really? Um, right. What do you get to buy? You get a canteen, and the canteen is just sort of like, um, as it, as it is a shop basically. Um, you can buy cigarettes. No, I mean people don't tend to buy cigarettes. Uh, they they buy tobacco. I mean you can't now. Um, it is just uh, the vapes now. Um, but you know Mars bars, Haribo, you know everything that's in in, in your shops really. You know your little premier shops, so to speak. Um, what else do I get? I think they're the main ones. Now, the second bit of the, uh, the second half of this upload, sorry guys, you can't see me, is um, I get asked a lot about bullying. Um, unfortunately, bullying is a way of life now, isn't it? We don't, so most organisations, schools, sort of, um, you know, groups, or, you know, you, what do you call them, brownies and things like that, people, faces like that, don't really know how to handle uh, bullying. Um, and it gets sort of, go on, Emma. it gets out of hand a bit, doesn't it? It gets to the point where people, you know, don't sort of want to go to school and they don't, they don't, you know, they don't want to go to work. But unfortunately, if it happens in prison, you have no choice. You're, you're in prison and you're, you, you know, you're facing these people. Um... It's a hard one. I get this asked all the time. Should you go in and report it? I mean, I should be telling you yes. But I'm not. I'm going to tell you no. Um, I do think it makes things worse. Especially in a prison environment. I mean, the, the sort of the code is, you know, you don't grat on anybody. And although you're not gratting on somebody to, to get them, uh, you know, time in prison... You are still verbally informing on something that they're doing wrong. Um, and if you've made yourself a target or they just picked you out as a target, the bullying, um, you don't want to sort of add to that fuel. Um, I get asked, what would you get bullied for? I think you would have to create it, you know. You, you, you would sort of have to, you know, be the one who makes out you're something you're not and then... They get, you know, they get found out and you sort of, you know, you, you, you kind of, uh, that little Joey really, that, that, that's how bullying would be in prison from where I could see. Um, I could imagine well because I didn't actually see it. Um, so, I know that's another point, get, just be yourself, always be yourself, always be yourself. Um, you can tell your personal officer, um, I mean... You know they'll they'll say we'll not out say it's you, but I mean obviously if they're your, if they're going to go straight to the you know to the bullies who are bullying you, um it's obviously come from you, hasn't it? So I would try <coughs> and deal with it within your own self, your little you know your little self really. I mean if it's your, your, you know if it's your soulmate then. You're going to have to kind of deal with that, aren't you, when the doors are shut? Um, 
and try and avoid them if it's not I, you know I really wouldn't go and, and sort of inform on them but if you feel that that's what you need to do then by all means go and do it so we're going to leave it there um, I'm going to do you know we're still on the prison series um, we've got um, when we do finish this I'm going to do um, a drug one and I'm going to tell you all about all the different drugs what they what they're known as um, what they what the effects do what the side effects are uh, what it does to your brain over a long term basis Miles is itching his four so he's rocking the bloody film um, so and I'm also going to tell you uh, from a loved one's point of view what to look out for for each particular drug on if that you know has become a problem for somebody I'm uh, also going to tell you the, the, the legal reasons on why this the drug is uh, being manufactured and yeah so that'll be a good series to keep your eye out for but we're not done yet on the prison so guys I'm going to go and upload this please like this is brought it I can't speak <coughs> <coughs> please like and subscribe and share me see you later guys